Hello YouTube, um, Eldros here, just bringing you a video on second accounts or the way a lot of people on the Counter-Strike and Overwatch community like to call them Smurf accounts. Now Smurf accounts are a controversial issue, um, mainly because uh, in games with a skill based matching they let obviously a lot higher skill players get into games with a lot lower skill players in order to farm kills. Um, get clips uh, that it usually happens a lot in the Halo community and other assorted reasons. Um, but the purpose of this video is to show you guys why smurfing is not an actual thing in Star Wars Battlefront. There is no skill-based matchmaking at all in this game. It's quite random. Um, the balancing of teams is based on uh, how many people are in the game, not necessarily uh, what your skill level is. So. Say I get into a game and I get put on a team, not necessarily because that team sucks or maybe I'm good, it's it's completely random. It's, it just tries to make the teams as balanced in terms of play account as possible. Okay, so you see here I'm a level 1, I have no KD, no games, anything, I'm on a fresh account. Uh, I'm going to show you what actually happens when... I load into a game. So this is 4 p.m. This is 4 p.m. in Australia, Eastern Standard Time, and I'm going to be loading up a Walker Assault a game. So we're just going to be doing that. Uh, I'm not going to edit this video just so I can show you guys what actually happens when I'm searching on these new accounts, getting kill streaks or whatever. Um, yeah, we're just going to wait here just a little bit. It takes a very long time. It's Australia. It's very hard to get into lobbies because there's only a select few amount of lobbies at the moment. This is a Sunday. Sunday at 4 p.m. So this is the time when there's going to be the most amount of people on Battlefront playing right now. So this is the best time to stream, which is why I stream at this hour uh, normally all the time. Okay, so I've joined a game. Uh, I can instantly see one of my subscribers, Batterboy, uh, on the other team. Arrested Toast, I can see he challenges me all day every day um yeah instantly i get into the game and i recognize uh not only people from the game but people on my own channel that's how uh that's how much second accounts don't actually make a difference and now so i'll exit this match because i don't exactly want to play it and i'll move on to my main account unemployed and i'll show you the difference it makes so you saw i was on a completely fresh account i did not match noobs whatsoever that's not a thing it do, the game does not care what your rank is. So we're just going to be loading into the next game and I will be searching for a match of Walker Assault on my unemployed account and we'll try and compare the difference. Obviously there won't be a difference uh, and that is the point that I'm trying to make, guys. I was thinking data here, I'm not sure why. Right, uh, I'm currently using the SSD. Uh, thank God I have it, it makes uh, loading time a lot faster. You'll probably see the differences now between my game and yours. Bang, I'm already in. That is pretty damn good. Alright, so... We're going to be searching the same playlist again, obviously. And we'll see what other lobby we can get into. Alright, finding a game. The reason why I'm making this video is because uh, I've recently had a lot of comments, uh, a lot of questions why I'm playing on second accounts a lot lately. I recently bought the uh, Ultimate Upgrade Pack, and the reason why I'm running on second accounts is because sometimes when I'm playing matchmaking, I don't really want to be, uh, you know, I don't really want to be, you know, seen <laughs> kind of thing. I don't know. I like I like to have a bit of privacy when I'm just messing around, like, uh, privately, so that's that. Alright, so we got into a game here. Instantly, I found one of my friends, Jimmy Transition. He's on my team. What a small world this is. As you can obviously see, we'll look for another game. Alright, this will be the last try before, uh, until I end this video. Uh... Alright. 
So we'll search one more time, see if we can get into a lobby. If we don't, then I'm not sure. But yeah, the purpose of this video I'm trying to um, c communicate to you is that... Okay, here we go. We got a lobby. Okay, so I instantly see Greedo Kenobi. I know him. Jalzy. Uh, we have another few players. I know Extended Racer. He usually always goes for me. It's a trap on the other team. These are all max rank players, guys. Um, so, yeah. I think that pretty much concludes it. Like, there was not one lobby. There was literally not one lobby I went into where I couldn't name, like, anyone. Like, every single lobby I went into, there was someone I recognized every single time. And the purpose of this is to show there is no such thing as skill-based matching in this game. It's completely random. And you shouldn't be discouraged from using a second account. And more importantly, you shouldn't be crucified for using an account just because it's a lower rank. I use second accounts because I want to remain private when I'm just messing around in matchmaking having fun. So there's that. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video, and hopefully this leads to a little bit of clarification in how Star Wars matchmaking works. All right, thanks, guys. I'll be streaming shortly.